Now, who would have thought the world of woke would eventually mean having to look up into the sky? But that's what we're going to have to do today because uh, we're going to talk about birds. And we're not going to talk about birds in a way that would be politically incorrect. That would be wrong, of course. These are actual birds that have got actual names. But the actual names that they've got, and this is in America, by the way, so it's even more nutty uh, than you would expect. Uh, they've got names that have been, in their words, clouded by racism and misogyny. So now uh, the Ornithological Society of America has declared that renaming these birds is the thing to do. So they're going to be officially reclassified to avoid glorifying slave owners and Confederate generals. Uh, that's right. The AOS, the American Ornithological Society, have announced it will alter the names of certain flying animals. That's what it says here. Are you sure they're flying animals? Uh, after a highly charged and publicised debate surrounding the now controversial figures uh, whom the birds are named after. So, so far, more than 100 different species across the Americas have been identified as needing new names. And the project will continue all the way through 2024. Now, the big problem seems to be that an awful lot of these birds were discovered and indeed named by people who lived a long time ago. Uh, you can see the guy on the right there. Doesn't look as if he's been around any time recently. Um, there's a bloke called James Audubon who uh, was responsible for starting up the Audubon Society. Um, and he was, a, you know, an entrepreneur. He was a philanthropist. But he also, according to the Audubon Society, did some pretty despicable things. So according to my information, they're going to be changing the name of one of the birds that was named after him um, because apparently, even though it's found off the southeast coast of the United States of America, uh, it brings back images of all sorts of ghastliness during the Civil War uh, when slavery was still around. And also after that particular period, according uh, to the Audubon Society, this is a man uh, who did despicable things even by the standards of the day. Surely the point about all of this history is that you look back on it and you may see things that weren't very good. Surely the thing not to do is to completely whitewash history, if you'll pardon me using that word, uh, without any fear or favour and making sure that people actually talk about it. If James Alderman was such a terrible guy, then let's find out what he did. And let's talk about why he was a terrible guy so that nobody else does the terrible things that he did. But if you pretend that he wasn't there and you never discuss it, then who's going to learn anything? For heaven's sake.